this, this embodies actually the first time we're really doing general maths as opposed to stuff that you learned last year. Okay, let me try and explain. Uh, you've got this sick child requiring medication and often this is the case, right? A child's medication is basically an adult's medication but they adjust the dosage, right? It's like, well, obviously you're smaller, you don't need as much. You've got a particular child who's 16 months old, so just a bit under one and a half and has a mass of, that's a very, very technical way of saying it. Um, he, she, he weighs 7.9 kilos. Okay. Now, working out dosage is a really important practical problem. Scary thought. One day, a lot of you, most of you probably, will become parents, and this is the kind of thing which you're trying to work out. Now, if you're lucky, the bottle that you're looking at will have all these kinds of measurements on it. However, all of that comes from mathematics. Like, all of that, like, what am I supposed to give my kid so it gets better, but it doesn't end up vomiting everything back on me because I overdosed it? That all comes from this kind of thing. Okay? And there's not just one answer. Again, this is one of the things I mean by, we're now, this is general maths. This is not just stuff that you saw in year 9 and 10. Okay? You need to become comfortable with the fact that in maths, in real life, there's not just one answer. Have a look at part A, B, and C, and how they differ. Just look at them carefully. What are they each asking? Parts A, B, and C, let's, let's do a bit of HSE keyword thing here, right? Let's do a compare and contrast. There's something that each one is asking the same. What is uh, all three of those parts? Yeah, you're looking for the child's dosage. Okay, that's, that's all you want to know. A, B, and C, they ask the same question. But what's different? Different rules. Yeah, there are three different rules named after three different people, Freed, Young, and Clark, right? Three different schemes for working out, well, what should the child's dosage be? And that's the way real life is. There isn't just like one agreed upon thing in the medical world, in science. It's kind of like, well, we have different ways of calculating this, okay? Um, just like when we're talking about something like BMI, right? You guys know what BMI is? And you kind of roughly know how to calculate it? I think it's what? It's weight on height squared. I think you just PE here. Yeah, it's, that sounds about right in my head. It's been a long time since I've calculated one. Now, that's one measure of like your overall, you know, health weight ratio and that kind of thing. But it's not the only one. But there are lots of different ones. And this sort of pulls back the curtain and shows you there's different ways of doing this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, we'll do A, A together. I'm going to get you to go through B and C. And then where the, red, the rubber really hits the road is par D. That's a classic mathematics general two question. You have to draw a conclusion. You've got to say, I've got numbers, but numbers are not the answer. The answer is, what am I going to do about it? Right? What am I going to use those numbers and how am I going to interpret them? So write down A, A, and let's do this one together. <laughs> if I can do eight, and then I'm going to do one. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> okay, now having written down 8A in this exercise, I actually have to start right from the beginning. Like the very first thing that I put down on the whiteboard on the piece of paper is the important information that I need for this question. But it's not at all obvious from the beginning, like what matters, okay? For instance, again, look back over those um, three questions again. They each talk about different pronoun rules, right? But what do the pronoun rules mean? You've just got adult dosage, the child's age, and mass. But the pronoun rules, you've got to work out which one's which, and that's part of the problem, okay? So I'm going to write down just in words, what are the three important numbers that appear in the question? What are they? Um, the child's age. age. The okay. Let's go child's age. Okay. Child's age, by the way, I'm going to put in, it's really critically, critically important, I'm going to put in not just the number, but also the unit. Like, what if the question is going to ask me, you remember I talked about BMI a second ago, right? It's, what did I say? Weight over height squared. But it kind of makes a difference whether your height is in centimetres or feet and inches or metres. I think off the top of my head it's in metres. You'll obviously get a completely different number and you'll think, wow, my weight's really, really good. And you're, you know, completely underweight like me. Um, so the units matter. You need to pay attention to those. 16 months. What's something else that's important in the question? The adult dosage. Adult dosage. Question. Yeah. It says um, in the formula of n times a. Yep. A. Do you just that as twenty, or do you have to like? Okay. Say good question. We will get to that in due term. I want to get the important information first, and then I will try and work out. I'll try to sort out what on earth I'm actually dealing with. Charles Mass. Last one, Charles Mass. And again, the units are important. So seven point nine kilos. 
It's not grams, it's not pounds, it's kilograms. Nice and metric. Okay, great. Now, this is part A. So you can see they introduce a whole bunch of different things, different letters, right? And we need to sort out what's what. For instance, when I see M, I immediately think M, that looks like mass, right? Do you agree that would be a common sense thing to do? Mm -hmm. Except then you read the question, and that's not at all what it means. Look at 8A. What does it say? Age of the infant. Age of the infant. So look, there's the age right there. So I'm going to label that as M. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to clearly mention, like people see formula all the time, and they just put the wrong things in the wrong places, which means you'll get something completely nonsensical at the end. Uh, so there was M. There's a capital A. What's capital A about? Adult dosage. Adult dosage. So that's here. Okay. Then the last one, you might think this is, well, this must be D, right? This is D, because that's the last thing that's left. But it's not, is it? What, what is D? Uh, the D is the infant dosage, which I don't actually know. That's the thing I'm trying to work out. So in fact, this, the child's mass, in, um, okay. in Freed's rule, in his way of working it out, the child's mass doesn't come into play at all. And that's why you see people disagree over these things. Some people say, yeah, how heavy they are kind of matters. And Freed doesn't think so. Okay. So therefore, I've got all of the variables that I need to input. So let's actually solve this question. I can say D equals, and I want to put my numbers in, M times A, 16 times 20, divided by 150. Okay. Now this is the substitution that we looked at last lesson, right? So for those of you who, um, who are not here, we're just making sure we slot in the right numbers in the right spots. In that way, substitution into mathematical formulas, like why is it a different exercise to just substitution? And the answer is it's all this stuff around it. It's all the questions we're asking um, after the fact and before. Okay, I've just run out of space just at the bottom here. What's the actual number? Does anyone already uh, plug in? 32 over 15. Th okay, so 320 over 150 will give me 32 over 15. However, it's not the most useful. It's like, oh yes, of course. 32 on 15 mils. I know exactly what that looks like, right? Oh, Does someone, yeah, okay, now, I'm just going to pause there. Again, this is a general math thing. It's not just a junior math thing. You are used to, like, tell me, do you want a fraction? Do you want a decimal? Whatever. Well, you kind of have to decide, just like in the real world, right? The number that's going to be useful to me is, well, your calculator hands you this, dot, 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 right? I'm guessing this is in mils because this was in mils, okay? But guess what? Again, as a, like a human being trying to actually do something here, not all of this number is useful to me. Only some of it. What do you reckon? How much of this number is useful? The two. I reckon, obviously, the two. That's the most significant digit. So I'm going to put an approximately equal sign here because I'm about to approximate. Clearly, the two. Now, admittedly, you guys don't have a heap of amount of experience, I expect, administering child uh, medication. So I will give you a bit of a hand and show you. This is what an oral syringe looks like, right? This is what you use to give um, kids medicine because, of course, they can't swallow tablets because they're little kids, right? Now, you have a careful look at that. How far would you like me to go on this number? Point one. Point one. I reckon we could go point 0.1. And I don't think you're going to get any accuracy after that. Like, what is this number? Three hundredths of a mil? Who has any idea what that's mm -hmm. going to be? In fact, the, the kid's going to sneeze out three hundredths of a mil anyway before you put it in. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm going to end. The question didn't tell you, hey, can you give me the answer? Give it to me to two significant figures or to the nearest tenth of a mil. You just have to think about that. You have to think while doing your math. That's a novel idea, isn't it? Okay. So that's where I end. That's where I close. That's my answer. Okay. Um, I'll get back to the question, but you can see the question in front of you as well. Do part B and part C for me. The process is very similar. Think carefully about what pronumerals stand for what numbers in the question, and then we'll come together when we have a look at part D. Okay?